Hey everybody, it's Jennifer here, your life coach coming to you with another message. This week's message is about asking for help. I know for me, I am not where I used to be and I am not where I want to be, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better at asking for help and recently I had another nudge of in the direction of getting better about asking for help. I was having a conversation with one of my lovelies uh, about a project that I was wanting to get off the ground um, and I was fumbling around with it. I was YouTubing, I was Googling um, all the little shortcuts and trying to figure it out and you know, it was, it was okay. It was the, the result was okay. It wasn't really where I wanted it to be, but I didn't want to bother anybody. I didn't want to bother anybody as far as, um, asking them for direction. And also I was afraid of their feedback about it because I knew it wasn't where it was supposed to be. So in the conversation that I was having with one of my lovelies, uh, who is very skilled in what I was trying to do, I'm just going to say that, she was very skilled at what I was trying to do, and she was like, why don't you just let me help you? Why don't you just let me do this? You do that part that you do very well, and let me do this part that I do very well. And I kind of hemmed and hawed about it, and I was like, well, you know, I thanks, but you know, what if you can't do it one day and I have to figure it out and then I'm not gonna know how to do it? Or I, I really don't wanna bother you with it. I don't wanna be another list on your to-do list. I don't wanna be an obligation, you know, to your already busy schedule. And she she knew what I was with it, what I was doing. I just was trying to avoid it. And she had said, when you go, when you take the car to get the oil change, do you go like in the, in the shop and kind of shoo away the mechanic and go, I got this. I just need to borrow your shop. I just need to go in and do this. And I was like, no, I don't. And because she caught me on that one. And she was like, so then why are you not accepting my help on this? Because I know how to do this. And I think that that is something where we all come from is that we don't want to bother anybody. One, we don't want to bother anybody. We don't want to be an obligation to anybody. And the underlying issue or the underlying kind of dragon in the room that I wasn't looking at was that I I knew I did not know as much as she did. I did I felt very inferior to her. I didn't um I didn't know. And it wasn't my fault and it wasn't her fault that I didn't know this. It was just something that I didn't go to school for. I didn't have skill sets on that. And in the midst of the conversation, uh she had shared that there was things that I knew how to do that she didn't know how to do. And so I think that that is, was, is something very eye-opening that if we come to the table, we come to a discussion, we come into a, a relationship, whatever the case might be, and come to the place of what can I learn from you and leave our insecurities, our ego at the door and just come to the conversation as far as what can I learn or and or how can I best support you? And I think that if we come to that, I think that our conversations would be a whole lot better and this world would be a more happier place than what it already is because we're just learning and supporting each other. So I hope that this resonates with you. If you know of somebody that needs to uh, hear this message, please uh, share this with them and make sure that you follow this channel and I will see you next week for our next message. Have a great day.